on today, which is why we've got Kirby. Um, but the, uh, Lord. <laughs> um, what was I saying? I have done a lot over the last, like, five years to try to increase my durability with my lower body. So, like, I've done a lot in terms of, like, exercising, strength conditioning, physical therapy, all kinds of shit to try to, like, improve my overall health with my lower body. Let me tell you how frequently these fucking leg injuries just come back for no reason, no matter what you do. Like, <laughs> and I'm not an athlete anymore. Like, I used to play a lot of sports, but, like, I can't imagine, like, playing at that level... I'm just a fucking casual, and look at me. I can barely fucking recover from a fucking tendon injury or an ankle sprain. Like, it's ridiculous. But that said, it's a bummer. Obviously, you have to... You have to downgrade the Jets' offense a little bit. Yeah, it's wild, Vi. And you know what's crazy is I I walk for at least 45 minutes every single day. Like every single day without fail. On top of everything else that I do. But like, it's wild. Yeah, I'm not reading too much into it, Devil. Because again, Josh Allen just does not play well against the Jets. And he made some poor decisions yesterday. Like a lot of poor decisions. He was living that YOLO lifestyle and he needed to calm the fuck down. Yeah, that's one of those things where the Jets defense is good. I don't think they're damn anywhere damn as good as they were last night. Like, I don't think they're anywhere near that good. I, they think they're good. They're a top 15 defense for sure. But I don't think they're that good. I think Josh Allen out, um, blew himself up with some of the mistakes he made. Obviously, the Jets still have to make the play. I'm not trying to take anything away from them, but... I feel like Allen lost that game last night. And he knows it, too. I wouldn't be surprised if Josh Allen comes out and throws for fucking 500 yards next week. But I'm not worried about the Bills. I don't think that's going to be a concern, personally. But time will tell. Who knows? It's only week one. It's hard to tell with any of these things. So, like, you kind of just have to wait and see approach. There are a couple of things that I probably think are more real than others. Um... But we'll see. We'll see. Kind of like the Dallas defense thing. Dallas's defense, unlike the, um, the Jets last night, Dallas's defense looked legitimately um, like top three in the NFL. Because a couple of those plays, don't get me wrong, like Daniel Jones wasn't perfect, obviously. He was pretty bad. But Dallas was getting to the quarterback often, and it was off of them playing extraordinarily well. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. I do not think that the Bills will be a bad team all of a sudden. I don't I don't buy that. Not that Devil said that or anyone said that, but um I'm not trying I'm not reading into that loss too much. I'm kind of I'm kind of in the same way with the Steelers, although the Steelers are in the hot seat for me. I want to see what they do this week against Cleveland. But um San Francisco is another one of those top three defenses that I'm not like I'm not like super crazy like reading into it. The one thing I will tell will say about the Steelers is Deontay Johnson's going to be out for a few weeks, which is not good for that offense. Kenny Pickett looked terrible in the first half. However, he recovered and actually looked decent in the second half. Didn't look good, but still, he looked decent. So I think he probably just had, like, maybe some jitters. I don't know. But we'll see what Pittsburgh turns into this week. Other than that, I don't think there was anything crazy this week in terms of, like, buying or selling a lot. Um... Much like every year previously, I don't want any part of the Los Angeles Rams backfield, like at all. I hate trying to figure out which running back they're going to start. And truth be told, they may actually, um, it may be like, the, uh, this happened, what was it? It was when Daryl Henderson ended up being the running back to own for LA. And week one, Malcolm Brown got 20 carries for 80 yards and both goal line touchdowns. And I'm wondering if maybe this Kyro Williams shit is Malcolm Brown from that those couple years ago. And Cam Akers is still going to be the guy to own. Because they do this shit. This is what Los Angeles does. The Rams do this shit to you where they like show you something week one and then they completely change the game script. I hate, I hate owning their running backs. 
So frustrating. Chelsea, thanks for contributing to the challenge. I appreciate it. Welcome on in. So uh, real quick, I'll give you guys an update on what we have so far for as far as the, uh, the team construction. Not a lot's changed. We just put a couple of uh, pieces that we were using away. Larry, thank you for contributing it as well. Hope everybody had a nice weekend, by the way. And thanks so much for uh, understanding in terms of last night. I don't know what's going on, dude. It's like every time there's a rainstorm that is stronger than average, the fucking internet goes out. And I, I've been up since 1230 this morning. So like it's, and the internet was going in and out all night long. It's just fucking wild. So like, I, I think we'll be okay because it, the, the storm cells pass now. So I think we're gonna be okay. Um, But if we suddenly just disappear, you know why. We should be good to go for tomorrow's stream too. Um, the only thing that would stop me for tomorrow is I, I'm gonna be real with y'all. My fucking foot is killing me. Like, <laughs> it hurts so bad. Like, and this is the the part of the healing process where like it's healing, and that's why it hurts so fucking much because it's not really swollen anymore. But um, it definitely hurts like hell. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Every single time I've gone to see a doctor for any of these foot injuries, it's cost me an ass load of money for absolutely nothing in return. So no, I'm done. I'm done. I've gone to foot specialists. I've gone and gotten an MRIs done. I've gotten x-rays done. Literally no answers for it. They're just like, man, this is really weird. Just stay off it. Right, yeah, that too. But they dead ass just come back and tell me just to stay off it, which I'm already doing, so. It is what it is. I'll just stay off it for a week or two and deal with it. Yeah, it is what it is. The one lady was just like, well, you are getting older. And I was just like, fuck you. <laughs> but anyway, we put um, a couple of Pokemon that we had in the party before. We put away for now, uh, which is Flaffy, Furret, and Combuskin. Those three don't do a whole lot in terms of like for this particular fight we're not going to keep them in the box forever they're just in the box for now but doctors are overrated well here yeah <laughs> you know it might not be that way everywhere else but like here it cost me it's like the last time i broke my toe right but it was like it wasn't like a, bro a break in terms of bone. It's like, it was a really bad sprain. So it was a sprain, but it was a bad sprain to the term of like, I tore ligaments and tore like muscles in my toe. And then it just like, was like a ripple effect down my foot. This was last year. It's like freak injury. That's like completely out of my control. I go to three different doctors and a hospital at like 1130 at night to get an MRI. Only for them to come back and go, yep, it's torn. Just make sure you stay off it. There's nothing else we can do. I was like, okay. And then you know what my bill was after that clue? After seeing the doctor, seeing a second doctor to get a second opinion, going to the hospital to get an MRI. Devil knows. <laughs> it was literally thousands of dollars. Thousands. I think I spent like $3,200 for them to tell me to stay off it for a week. Yeah, it's insane. So like, no, I'm not going back to the doctor for this. Not when it's literally the same exact injury that I've had. Well, and for this foot in particular, it gets better what, or what gets funnier. Um, the, the issue that I'm having with my right foot this time, this is the first time I've had this particular injury since 2017, I think. 2017 so it's been like six years so even though i've had a lot of it did happen on 9 11 you are right you are correct yes you are correct oh and when are... i don't want to get off topic let me finish the foot thing and then i'll get back to football <laughs> So like, this isn't like, I know it seems like because I've had a foot injury basically every other year. Um, so it seems a lot more common than it is. But like, this is the first time that I've had this specific foot injury with this foot in like six years. 
So it's really not that bad. It's not that frequent. It just feels like I'm always fucking hurt, which is a bummer. I feel like a football player that you invest a high draft capital in and <laughs> my fucking foot just falls off. Um, When are we going to get rid of this artificial turf? You know, like when are we going to get rid of this artificial turf? I feel like I feel like every single year someone has a massive injury at MetLife. Like every single year. Yeah. Yeah. It's frustrating for, and I, I won't speak for everybody, right? It's frustrating for me because I spend a lot of effort and time to make sure that like this doesn't happen and then it happens anyway. And it's just like, well, why do I fucking bother? So frustrating. Yep. That's true clue. Anyway. So this is not a forever thing in terms of like Flappy, Combuskin, and Furret not being in the party. Furret I might keep out. But for right now, these three Pokemon don't do a whole lot for me in this particular fight. So I'm keeping them in the box for now. I did get um, Volbeat and Tropius up to where they got their moves. Neither one of them got anything that would help me with this fight. Uh, Lunge is good, but it's a physical attack and Volbeat only has 32 attack. Not very helpful. Mm -hmm. I'll consider it. <laughs> you are not the only person that would be vying after Eevee. That would be a, uh, that would be a competition. But yeah, I mean, even the, the Rogers injury, like you said, it, it looked like nothing. And then all of a sudden it was just like, nope, he's out for the game. Well, boxed. True. So I did put those three away and I took out the Sneasel. I took out Ariados and I took out Noctowl. So um, Noctowl, very similar to Volbeat, um, only got a physical flying attack. However, unlike Volbeat, has this decent special defense stat. So this is actually a good switch in Pokemon with decent HP as well. So if my Espeon goes down, I can switch into Noctowl pretty easily, as well as if Sneasel goes down, I can switch into Noctowl pretty easily. Ariados has a pretty high base attack stat, and it did get Pin Missile, which is very good. So Pin Missile's got 25 base power. It's got 85 attack. Ariados should be very, very good. I want to try to conserve the Ariados for when Sneasel goes down. I imagine Sneasel will go down first, <laughs> that happened once. <laughs> oh, gosh. That was so funny. Oh, and the last thing is while I was getting all of their moves unlocked, Espeon got to level 36, which isn't that big of a deal. However, it learned Signal Beam, which is that big of a deal. So, um, Signal Beam is actually 75 power bug attack, which is super effective against Ludicolo, which is huge. Yeah, huge. So I think we should be okay this time. Oh, that's okay, Chels. Do you want to know why I had to release the Eevee? I saved, yeah. I literally just saved. Okay. Let's head over to Mirror B and see if we can win this one. Well, it was for a charity stream, you see. And, um... Somebody donated to have me spin a wheel to release a Pokemon, and then it landed on Eevee. You know what? This is actually, this is worth watching. Hold on. Hold on. Ready? Here you go. Here's the story. Bundy is doing a charity stream right now. And he is doing a Nuzlocke on Pokemon. 
right? So here's an incentive that if you if you donate 20 bucks, you get to be named after a Pokemon. So I donated, whatever. I was gonna donate anyway, but I donated. And I'm in chat and I'm like, if I'm a Pidgey, I'm gonna lose my shit. Cause I just really despise Pidgey. I don't know why. I just like, <laughs> I just hate Pidgey. All right, Route 36. So this is technically a new route. All right, so I'm gonna leave this up to you, Banana. Would you like to roll the dice and be the random encounter that's in the grass? Or would you like to be a pseudo wudo? Those are your two options. You wanna be a pseudo wudo or do you wanna be a random encounter in the grass? Go random, keep it spicy, okay. Pray it's not a Pidgey. If it is a Pidgey, I might laugh really loud. I'm just warning everybody. If it's a Pidgey, <laughs> I'm gonna laugh. And it's gonna be anyway, funny. this part, this part, you know, anyway. Of course, the first It time was a Pidgey. Is a Pidgey. <laughs> All right, here we go. Random encounter. Mother... <laughs> Here we go. He gets an Eevee. He catches the Eevee. He names me after the Eevee. I am the Eevee. We are one. We are one. <laughs> Lundy, this piece of sh Lundy <laughs> says. Hey, Blaze. Welcome on in. Lundy had some releases that he could do. We're gonna go ahead and update this really quick. So we got. Okay. Uh, Louis. Hey, you alright? Todd. Lenny. <laughs> and banana. Yeah, we're um so, we're reliving our our EV trauma. I spin this wheel, and whatever it lands on gets released. Whatever it lands on gets released. And Lundy was so nice to make me do this with my own money. <laughs> so I get to feel the pain twice. <laughs> All right, are we ready? Are you ready for the spin? Are you ready? No one's ready for it. Let's spin it. Here we go. What's it going to land on? Who's getting released? It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, after all of that, <laughs> I am sick! <laughs> I am sick! And he knew! Lundy knew! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so anyway, that's that. That's the, uh, that's what happened the last time we had an opportunity for Eevee. <laughs> It was pretty funny. And like Clue said, like the odds of that. So basically we lost not one, but two encounters in a row that could have been um, banana. Because one used, World I think one I crit by mistake and the other one used roar and roared me away. So I couldn't catch that one either. Um, so then I was like, you know what? I got one that's guaranteed. I think you're gonna like it. I walk all the way back to Goldenrod. I get the Eevee. He uses a release and I have to release it. It was pretty fucking hilarious. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Now the king of games fair. <laughs> it was pretty fucking funny though. I'm not gonna lie. It was pretty great. Alrighty, so I still think this fight's gonna be a bit of a struggle. We should be a lot better off than we were last time though, now that we have signal beam and we've got some better um, super effective options. So we're gonna give it a shot, see what happens. Obviously, we already talked to him last time. Let's move past this. Let's go. So I am going to focus down the Ludicolos in nearly every circumstance here um, because the Politoed, while it is an issue, has not been like a massive problem for me. Yeah, I'm just, I, my foot sprained, Blaze, so I've been like grimacing a little bit. And I didn't want to have to answer a whole bunch of questions. <laughs> so I felt like the uh, the better option was just keeping the cam off for today. Perfect. Use his helping hand. We're using fake out. 
That way I won't be able to use an attack. Oh, wait, you spake up first. Rip. <laughs> oh, I don't, I have inner focus. Get bodied. Yeah, cheers, Blaze. I appreciate it. Here comes the signal beam. This should do some decent damage. Excellent. That's exactly what we're looking for. Perfect. All right, so now we're going to start setting up our fury cutters. We're likely going to see a helping handed uh, Giga Drain here, and that should knock out the Sneasel. But uh, keep your fingers crossed. This is one of the two Swift Swim ones. The other two, I believe, are both Rain Dish. That did not knock out the Sneasel. Excellent. Signal Beam, I think it's going to be close. I'm not sure if this takes it out. I think it's going to be a range. Yeah, that's unfortunate. It was not a range. Not at that HP. Fury Cutter comes in. That will absolutely take it out, though. I'm actually surprised even with Swift Swim that it's faster than uh, Sneasel. Sneasel's pretty fast. In comes Ludicolo number two. We're going to do the same thing. We're just going to double into the uh, Ludicolo slot. Fury Cutter again. This one is not Swift Swim. So this one should go down. Ooh, way more specially defensive than the last one was. Up. Ah, perfect. I imagine we're seeing a water pulse from Politoed here because it didn't use Helping Hand, which means Sneasel's going to go down. This should be another Swift Swim Ludicolo, if I remember correctly. Good deal. Okay. Sneasel did his job, though. Oh. All right, next up, we're going to send in Ariados. And we are going to, once again, double into the Ludicolo slot. It is not Rain, or uh, Swift Swim, it's Rain Dish again. Interesting. Comes the Pin Missile. Think of this hits. Yeah, I think even twice is probably enough. Yeah. Looks like it would have to hit four times to knock something out, so we'll still continue to double into the Ludicolo. All right, so if that was also Rain Dish, that means this one's going to be the Swift Swimmer. Took that up nicely. No pun intended. Double into that slot again. There's the helping hand. This one must be Swift Slim. <laughs> yep. Seed Bomb. That actually would take out Espeon, I think. Nope. Not quite. Not quite. Close, though. Here comes the Pin Missile. Good deal. Yeah, that'll be a 2 KO as well. Excellent. So that takes care of all of the Ludicolos. Last up is the Shadow. I believe it's um, Lyran? Or Laren? I don't know how you say it. I used to say La Iron, so. <laughs> and that's not correct either. Alrighty, so we're going to double into the Polytoad slot this time. Uh, we should just pin missile here, I think. The side beam and the pin missile should be enough. Oh, maybe not. Wow. Things tankier than I thought. Here comes the pin missile. Hit five times. One. Oh, it's not gonna matter. Oh, wait. Yeah, it hit five times. Let's go. Big win. Hook Rose. Hope you're doing well. Happy Tuesday. Polytoads down. Espeon's up to level 37. Yeah. That rock slide did next to nothing to Aspion. Nice. 
Now we send a Noctowl, even though it's got Rock Slide. Happy a Woo's Day. <laughs> Actually, I think it's, uh, what is it? National Video Game Day? Use a side beam. This should not take this out. It's not very effective, even with crit. Oop. I missed my hypnosis, which is a bummer. That should take out Espeon. Why are you working? That's a great question. I'm not. You get it? It's a joke, because I'm on him. Anyway. <laughs> it's true, you should. That's right. That's right. Why? They don't have a good. They don't have a good reason for this. They don't have a good reason for this. Somebody needs to explain themselves. Hypnosis. So if the catch rates are all the same, this is going to have the same catch rate as Pseudo Wudo did, um, which means this is going to be a bitch. There we go. Oh, it's probably spotlight hour, Jordan. So from six to seven local, there will be a, there's a lot of Mankey. If you expect Niantic to do anything that positive in your life, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Fuck you, Niantic. Respectfully. Yeah, that would be fun. How, how, how dare you? Don't you think that, you, don't, don't you dare think you'll get away with your latest outrage. One of these days, I will take great pleasure in kicking you about with my elegant dance steps. Oh, and I'm not giving up our Shadow Pokemon plan. Let's go escape. Goodbye, Mirabee. We got TM49. Which is bulldoze. Nice. Nice. Bulldoze is good. Nine file. Oh, does she? <laughs> uh, 54 is icy wind. Also pretty good. Hello, Plusle. Mirror, we got away, but things will be back to normal here. Duking, I don't know what to say. Forget it, Silva. We're all unharmed. That's good enough. Even that Mirror B's been driven out, thanks to Gary. Hmm? What's that, Plusle? Feeling hungry out of relief? <laughs> okay, Gary, let's quit this moldy cavern and quick. Gary, we owe you a great deal. Sincerely, thank you. You're even a bit later. Plusle could have been made a shadow Pokemon. That's horrible. I'm glad everything's fine, Papa. And Plusle, too. Hmm? What's the matter, Plusle? Oh, you want to... Okay, I understand. Gary, could you take my Plusle with you? Also saying it wants to help you, too. Yes. Yes, that's right. You can't let those criminals get away with it. That's amazing. We've got a cute and brave addition to our party. Gary, I'm counting on you. Woo! I intend to investigate the organization behind Mirror B. As soon as I discover anything, I will be in touch. Which reminds me, Gary, I need your PDA number. Oh, that's the Pokemon Digital Assistant, or PDA for short. Gary, where's yours? You have to tell Duking your number so he can contact us. Remember when PDAs were like the hot shit? Anybody? No? Just me? 
<laughs> Monkey. <laughs> All right, Lyran. I'm, hold on, I'm being paged. Oh, bleh, it's bold. That's terrible. Okay, unfortunate. Both the steel types that we got are both bad. Bummer. Boom. Oh, you who? You two there. Where are you bound in such haste? I don't know. Why would I talk to you? Ah, I might be imagining it, but the town's air feels somewhat less dirty. But not all is well. I can feel the presence of black auras coming from Shadow Pokemon. Both, I think. <laughs> wow, if 18, nothing escapes your notice. There is but nothing that eludes the notice of my fortune telling. Fu fu fu. The key to freeing Pokemon from that black aura is in the north. Up north, that's where my grandpa lives too. Oh no, I forgot, I was on my way to visit grandpa. He lives in Agate Village, that's north of here. That being north may be no mere coincidence. Your answer may be there. What's a VHS, Lamau? Listen, you can't say y'all are old and then say what's a VHS when no one else said anything about a VHS except for you. <laughs> a very happy somebody, true. We're all young at heart, right? <laughs> all right, so we're off to A gate so we can get everything purified. No, that's fair. <laughs> For the same reason vinyls made a comeback, then CDs will make a comeback. And then everybody will wonder why we wasted all our money on that shit. The air tastes a lot different here. It's been so long. Okay, let's get going. I bet they're worried about me not getting here. I don't remember which... Oh, it's not this one. It's the one up there. I'm going in here anyway. I'm already here. Oh. Fuck me, dude. Fucking foot. Yeah, because that's her fun. <laughs> yeah, well, and to be honest, Rose, like with how much money they're expecting you to pay for these streaming services, cable might come back. That's fair, Blaze. <laughs> Yeah, that's also true. A lot of people struggle with that kind of stuff. Grandpa Egan, Grandma Bella, I missed you. Ah, Yuki, welcome, welcome. We heard that you were coming, but when you didn't arrive, we were worried about you, dear. You finally arrived. What held you up? <laughs> true. I just, I had just this terrible time on the way here. I was abducted by these creepy people. Luckily, I was saved by Gary, who happened to be there by coincidence. Oh, how frightful. Thank you so much for saving her granddaughter. Why would anyone want to harm Yuki? Oh, it's probably because I can see these bizarre Pokemon. They're shadow Pokemon. Pokemon that have been turned into fighting machines with hearts of darkness. Shadow Pokemon? What on earth is that? Well. Help! There's trouble! Egan, it's a serious situation. Some outsiders went into Relic Forest. What? Who were they? I don't know. They shoved me aside and... That's enough talk. You can wait. I'm off. Yeah, I don't know. I never really paid for any of the streaming services myself, so, like, it's easy for me to just not pay for them still, right? Hate watching it. Yeah, that's fair. 
That's fair. Um, but like now, and even with like, because we ranted about this the other day, so I won't, I won't go on about it too much today. But um, like PlayStation, as an example, just so dumb. 33% increase in for what? So we can so we can continue to, to give you high quality games. Fuck you, dude. You have so much money, like you do not need to fucking grind us out for 33% more. I don't either, Blaze. I don't either. That's Aerial Ace. Whenever I want to sit down and unwind, I play a video game. Oh, you're absolutely right. But like right now, it's to the point where like I have absolutely, it, it is not Microsoft's fault. <laughs> Microsoft, like they don't get me wrong. They also increase their price. And that's, that's part of the, that's part of the equation. Sure. But like Microsoft actually offers things that have value for that price, right? Where you can play brand new games on day one. So like, there's value in that. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> People actually believe that though. Like legit, they do. Oh, it's both, it's both rows. They're both a problem. They're both problems. The streaming services for TV is a bigger problem, right? Because like the strike that's going on right now and has been going on for what? Like over a hundred days. Um, I mean, they, they're striking specifically because of this where they're just like ramping up the prices and none of the writers, the actors, they're not getting paid. Like, how can you justify that? You know what I mean? Like, how do you justify that? Fucked up, man. I don't know. I don't get it. You make all that money and you don't pay the people? Like, fuck. Ridiculous. Hmm. Paper Mario is actually a good comp. Yeah. Yeah, Paper Mario is a good comp. Because all of the attacks, even the heals and stuff, have, like, a reaction command thing, like Paper Mario did. So, like, if you hit it at the right time, you'd get, like, a bonus. It does have that in Sea of Stars. It does. Mm-hmm. It's very good. It's very good. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a discount Twitch, maybe. It's very fun. Ooh, I still have Espana Sneeze on the front. Whoopsie doodle. Uh, actually, this should be fine. We'll signal beam the Sharpedo. Uh, actually, let's side beam the Celio and we will fake out the Sharpedo. Nice crit. Ooh, bummer. That did not do as much damage as I was hoping it would. That's a thick ass walrus. Um, okay. Could signal beam the Sharpedo here and then just f uh, faint attack the Celio. Signal beam should take out Sharpedo. Sharpedo's defensive stats are not high. Unless they updated it, but he's a thick ass boy. Bop. Wow. This defensive is shit. Oh, I used defense scroll the first turn. I forgot. I'm dumb. Never mind. Ignore me. We should actually switch the, um, we should switch the Sneasel out really quick with Combuskin. Cause so Combuskin can get a little bit more experience. <laughs> Metapod, use Harden. Well, my Metapod, use Harden. <laughs> it's a Harden off. Um, we can get rid of the Noctowl. I don't think we'll use Noctowl again. And then Flaffy will switch the, the Sneasel.
since all those Pokemon are ready to be purified anyway, once we actually get to the purified section, we will purify them, but let's save again. Ah, here we go. Boop, 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 boop. But hopefully we can get um, Blaziken off of the purify. I doubt it, but hopefully. It was pretty great, bye. <laughs> it was pretty great. You know, I haven't done a rewatch of the Pokemon series in a while. That could be fun. A side beam Roselia and we will heat wave. Mm-hmm. Because they knew, right? Which was great. Yep. Just to make sure they knew that you knew, right? You were going to be you were going to be in pain. <laughs> I guess I could use Sky Uppercut too. Yeah, Brian. <laughs> ah, fooey, I'm not feeling well today. All right, bye. Liar. fall down from the ceiling. Uh-oh. Can slap with psychic attacks. Good luck. Oh, you bitch. Everybody call mining for it. Oh, damn. Man, them giving uh, Umbreon crunch is kind of a 
kind of a big deal. Um, I think we we're fine. I guess I should save just so I don't lose my money. Heal first. I wonder how hard this uh, this guy is going to be. This guy usually has a level 38 uh, shadow hitmon on top. And obviously the shadow Pokemon have been changed in this game, so it's gonna be interesting to see what they do. You, who are you? What are you doing here? Although you may ask why we are here, we simply cannot answer that. I see that you are a senior citizen, but I cannot allow you to interfere with our affairs. You're the ones interfering. Shady creeps like you, I'll personally run out. <laughs> now, now, someone so old shouldn't overdo it. Don't take me for a fool. I'll have you know I was once hailed the most powerful trainer. That isn't all either. I have a comrade with whom I've been through thick and thin. This is the first Pokemon I got. It's been with me ever since. Okay, Pikachu, we haven't battled this much in a while. Let's keep focused. Oh, is this little hit on top? Right? <laughs> Bitch, use thunder. What are you doing? This is hard to watch. Goodbye, Egan. <laughs> Didn't I already say an old man shouldn't overdo it? Grandpa, Pikachu. How dare you? You'll never get away with this. Ah, now here's someone who may show me a more enjoyable time. Very well. On guard! Oh, fuck you with your Wobbuffet. He sure didn't. Still healed, though. What do I want to do here? It won't die to a side beam. Unless it crits. If it crits, then it's dead. Shadow Rush. Try to catch it. Yeah, the soundtrack in this game is awesome. Super fun. This one's gonna be a bitch. The good news here is that um, Wobbuffet's useless. It can't hurt us. 
until we need to hurt it. Then it can hurt us, but... I was thinking about shadow rushing the uh, lava fat, but I won't. Oh, don't be a bitch, hit him on top. What? Huh. That's interesting. Well, hopping hand a sky uppercut and knock this thing out. I can't believe it switched out to get the stats reset. It's wild. Man, even I know I'm intimidated, but I'm surprised that did uh, so little damage. I believe we're shadow tagged right now. There's not a whole lot we can do. Yep. But Combuskin's just gonna get hit here. I think we take the Wobbuffet out. And just say fuck it. It's gonna mirror cope. You know what? Let's help let's helping hand the uh let's helping hand the the heat wave. Should kill Combuskin and even at minus two. Send an Umbreon because the mirror coat's going to go into that slot. We will Psybeam Huntail. We will Crunch Swabafet. Oh, it's going to counter. I'm stupid. I should have signal beamed. I should have signal beamed into that slot. That was dumb. Umbreon's probably gonna go down here. Because I'm dumb. Iron defense is fine. Oh, use mirror code again. Dope. Well, now I can double into that slot. Well, I don't want to, though, right? I don't want to. I want the Huntail to go down. Nice. Took care of the Wobbit Fat. Very likely hit on top comes back out here. Which is absolutely fine. Intimidate doesn't really mean that much. Corbis out next. We're absolutely going to be seeing a fighting attack coming into the Umbreon slot here, so I'm going to switch into uh, Curlia. on top of being a bitch. Iron defense again? Counter. Alright, never mind. Double into the Gorbis slot, take that thing out. Now we just gotta find a way to get um what's it called? 
Gotta find a way to get Flaffy in. Down goes Gorbis. I'm going to imprison it. It won't be able to use Shadow Rush. Stay in the ball. Rapid spin, huh? Alrighty. I'm about to just knock this thing out. I'm not gonna use it anyway. This thing's not even shaking. I'll just let the uh, earlier go down. That's right, bitch. Got threatened and you were just like, no, I'm just kidding. I had been instructed to capture Celebi, then destroy the Relic Stone, but matters have not gone according to plan. I shot to immediately inform Dakum, who has gone to Mount Battle. Grandpa, are you okay? I'm fine, but my partner. Ah, you're safe. Good, good. You battled with honor. If your opponent was any ordinary Pokemon, you would have won. So that was a shadow Pokemon. Yuki and Gary, am I right? Thank you for helping us. We should go home for the time being. You really had me worried. Please don't do anything so rash and dangerous again. I'm sorry, dear, but I couldn't very well let them have their way. Those crooks... They said they were out to capture Celebi and destroy the Relic Stone. Hmm. Why? Might there be a connection between Celebi and the Shadow Pokemon? Oh no, that's no good. We came here because we thought you would know something, Grandpa. Hmm. Sorry right to disappoint. Oh yes. Dear, didn't we have a stone tablet? It had something about the relic carved into it. Ah, yes, we did have such a stone tablet. Now where could I have put it away? Let me go look for it upstairs. It may take some time, so please be patient. While she's looking, you might try gathering more information on Celebi, Yuki. Go see an old man named Similor. He lives near the Pokemon on the hill. Hockey dokie. Lore? All right, you wanted to see my dad. He's been getting pretty forgetful lately, though. I'm afraid he might not be much help to you. Ah, you're Egan's beloved Torchic. No, wait, who did you say you were? What's that? You wanted to ask me, Sinalore, about Celebi? I have no fear. No problem. Forget something that important? That's not going to happen. Let me start with the Relic and Relic Forest. 
According to ancient lore, the relic is said to hold power of time travel for Celebi. That mystical power is said to revive the most pleasant, most enjoyable memories of Pokemon. If only it worked on me and brought back my memories of youth. Ho ho ho. Would you like to hear more? Nah. Come back anytime, Whirlpool. Oh dear. Ah, Yuki, welcome home. I finally found the small tablet. This is the small tablet that has been passed down through our family over many generations. Examine it. There are words carved in the small tablet. In Agate's mystic relic, Celebi's power shelters. A heart imprisoned by shadows, its last door shall be opened by the power within. The relic must have some effect on shadow Pokemon. I will leave that for you to determine for yourselves. We got an email. Gary, we've got big trouble. I just got word from our people that Mount Battle's under attack by a mysterious group of thugs. Please, can you go help? We think it's the same group as the one Mirror B belonged to. We're counting on you. What? Those crooks are loose on Mount Battle now. That's awful. We can't let this go on. Gary, let's go. Oh, wait. Grandpa, where is Mount Battle anyway? Mount Battle is to the northeast. You can see it in the distance once you leave the village. Hurry, Yuki. Not yet. Gotta purify some shadow Pokemon first. Bye, Yuki. Oh! All right, let's open Combustion's heart. <laughs> Reversal? Ooh, fun! Bounce? I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna teach Bounce over a Reversal. <laughs> I know reversal is pretty good, and there's probably a world where we use it, but like, I'd rather have some coverage. Aura sphere. Damn. All right, I'll get rid of feather dance. Still two levels before Combuskin evolves. Go ahead and purify Ariados. Got Poison Jab. Very good. Wants to learn Lunge. Lunge is more consistent than Pin Missile, so we will teach it over Pin Missile. Flappy gets heal bell. Wants to learn charge. I don't think we need charge. Wants to learn signal beam. We will teach signal beam over um, probably heal bell, actually. I guess flatter is not that important. We do have confuse ray on the Umbreon. But having access to confusion and paralysis on one Pokemon is pretty good. I guess we'll teach us that signal beam. If it is a special attack raising nature, we should use it as an attacker. Lab is evolving. Say hello to Ampharos. Hello, Lighthouse. <laughs> And then Curlia. It's Calm Mind. Nice. Oh, yes, please. I 
Can we get Gardevoir? here 117 special attack is very good 118 special attack is also very good I believe the Gardevoir is more powerful than the Espeon it is indeed Espeon's obviously got the speed which Gardevoir does not have all right let's heal up really quick Let's purify the other Pokemon that we've gotten done. Which would be Volby. Noctowl. Sneasel. Shadow only run. <laughs> and Frit. I believe Tropius got there too. If not, it was very close. Yeah, it's almost there. Oh, we did not check Plusle. Plusle is not level 7, which is notable. It does have plus, and it's Electric Fairy. Interesting. Bold Nature's fine. Nothing crazy there. Electric Fairy, huh? Hmm. Powers up with Ampharos, too. That may end up having some use. Him on top is Calm Nature. Well, thank you for guaranteeing we will not be using him on top. Hog. <laughs> cool, cool. Pop quick saving. And then back down to purify some more. Starting with Volby. It's Tail Glow. Knocked out. In prison. Yeah. Air Slash is going to be taught over in prison immediately. Sneasel's up. Learns False Swipe, which we will very likely be getting rid of immediately for Ice Shard. Yep. Yep. Okay, and last but not least, we've got Furret. It's Super Fang. That's pretty good. Trying to learn Agility. I'm going to skip Agility. Baton pass. I guess that would have been good for agility, but that's okay. Alrighty. We're all purified. Now it's just making a roster. So, uh, Combuskin for sure. <laughs> True. Fair and valid. Fair and valid. Ampharos is coming in for sure. I'm definitely not keeping Sneasel. Or I'm sorry, Volbeat, rather. Even though Volbeat's pretty cool. I guess we bring Espeon for now. I guess we bring Umbreon, right? Hmm. We do have two dark types with the squad too. I don't think that's necessary. 
I don't think that's necessary. Well, um, unfortunately, everything else rolled kind of poorly. So, like, if there's nothing else to really bring right now, I guess we'll keep the Umber or the Espeon with us for now, then. Yeah. Well, and thankfully, we've still got a lot of Pokemon left to catch, too. So, we should be okay. God, my foot's swelling up. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, this is a little earlier than I'm used to taking a break, but I need to take a break and take some ibuprofen really quick. Yeah, I, I, uh, I didn't, so I'll try that right now. <laughs> I'll try that right now. I'm going to take a quick break, just take some ibuprofen and drink some water really quick. Let my foot kind of relax for a bit. Um, not following all the socials, here's all the social links. Discord's where we announce where we go live. I'm in caps lock. Yeah, we'll be going for a couple of minutes here just so I can get some ibuprofen in me, get some water in me, and um, hopefully that'll help the uh, the swelling that's happening right now. If it doesn't get better, I'll have to stop, but I assume the ibuprofen will help. But I'll be back in just a couple of minutes, folks. Thanks for waiting. Appreciate it.
Alrighty, I'll be back. Oh, fuck me, dude. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Um, should be good to go. Thanks for welcome back. Appreciate it. I'm going to give this like 30 minutes to really like do its thing. And if it doesn't work, I'm probably going to call it. The worst case scenario, if I have to call it, I'll just add two hours into the next Tuesdays. It should be better by then. I don't want to have to do that, so hopefully it just works, but... Oh, it's annoying. Terrible, terrible, I tell you, it's terrible. <laughs> Mount Paddle is under attack by a group of shady people. <sighs> I'm so out of breath. Think about taking the Mount Battle Challenge? Forget about it. I'd keep clear of that place from now. I hear Mount Battle's been taken over by a bunch of trainers that use weird Pokemon. Healed up. No, I'm sorry, but I can't let you in. It's full of thugs. It's dangerous. Oh, you heard about, about us from Duking? You must be here to save us. You see, it was me who contacted Duking for help. I didn't think you would get here so quickly. But please be careful. The power of their Pokemon isn't normal. Yeah, it would be a lot. It would be a lot. We can manage it for one day, though. It's really going to be this foot. Like, as long as the foot isn't hurting. Like, if it's if it's just swollen or if it's, like, if I can't put, like, a lot of pressure down on it, that's one thing. But if it's sitting here hurting like it is right now, I'm not going to sit here and, like, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to suffer for it, right? But, like, in the same vein... There we go. Rider Thoro. Polyrath and camera up. Holy fuck. Okay. Um, Jesus. Well, this couldn't have gone any worse for us. We have literally the two worst Pokemon that we could possibly have out against these two Pokemon. Huh. Uh, let's fake out the camera up. Let's see what the Polyrath's gonna use. Decent damage. Power up punch. Uh oh. Of course it didn't kill. Man, they put power up punch in this game? Yikes. Alright, so we're gonna see another power up punch into that slot. I think we have to get Gardevoir in here. First water absorb, nice. There's the bounce, decent damage. Power up punch is gonna go into the Gardevoir slot, even at plus one, shouldn't do too much. Yeah. Ow. Bye, Kamuskin. Alrighty, let's go ahead and send Espeon in so we can start dealing with this camera up because this camera up is a problem. Let's use Psybeam on the camera up and we will just use Daz and Gleam here. Which will take out the Polyrath and deal some damage to the camera up. Yeah, I'd be down for that too. I'd be down for that too.
Nice. This magnitude will probably take out the Gardevoir if it rolls high. The Brava comes in. Oh, just use Ember. I wonder why. Oh, because it didn't want to knock out its own uh, partner. That's why. Fun. Side beam on the Vibrava and a Dazzling Gleam should finish the two of them off. Master Dakum will reprimand me. Think I care? Oh, you know what we need to do really quick? We actually need to run back to the um, the Oasis really quick. The outskirts stand. I think he's got Ultra Rolls now. Yep. He's got some uh, other balls too. Probably don't need to buy ten. We can probably just do five. Let's buy five in the net balls as well. Four, okay, that's fine. Uh, and we'll do five of the timer balls as well. Toro took a fall, did he? I never, I could never count on that guy. Well, I'll just think of it as there being more for me to enjoy. Come on. Oh, Swine and Lunatone. This is a much better lead for us. We are going to Sky Uppercut the Pillow Swine and we will fake out, I think we're gonna fake out Pillow Swine as well. Cause it's gonna use uh, Magnitude or Earthquake here is what I'm expecting. That'll be on Sneasel. Decent damage. Oh, I really thought that would kill it. Really need a uh, Combuskin to evolve, huh? All right, let's go ahead and Sky Uppercut again. We will fake or faint attack on the Lunatone. I wonder if this is going to be enough. Not quite. Not quite. Sneasel go down, goes down here. That's okay, though. Sky Uppercut will take out the Pillow Swine this time. Wagsire. Down goes Sneasel. Okay. Um, Espeon. We will um, Sky Uppercut the Lunatone, and we will Side Beam the Quagsire. Oh, I really thought that would take it out. Lunatone's defense isn't that high. Hmm. Oh, that's a bummer. Gig. That's probably on Combuskin. I'm gonna bounce. And then signal beam the loon tone. Eh. 
Thank you for the follow, appreciate it. Pokemon in. Gotcha. Bounce comes in. That should put it in range for Psybeam. One more level for Combuskin and then we're good to go. Next fight, Graveler and Onyx. Uh, Graveler does significantly more damage than Onyx does, so we're gonna focus the Graveler down first. Unless Onyx got buffed in this, I guess I wouldn't know. Oh dear. Doesn't matter that Onyx is weak now. Explosion will absolutely take them both out. Wow, that almost killed Graveler. Yeah, we're doomed. Cool. Big win, let's go. I imagine Graveler was also exploding, but it's gonna flinch this turn. Is Mag Cargo also going to explode? Because, like, that's not very nice. Oh, it protected. Alright, down goes Graveler. Easy enough to take out Mag Cargo now. Nice. Easy peasy. Just today, I'll back off easily. Just today, huh? Just today. All right, save up. Sucks. Okay. Rider Raiden, Flareon, and Hitmonlee. We will bounce the Hitmonlee and we will fake out the hit monly so that sneasel doesn't just die in one hit i assume flareon's gonna have flame wheel into the sneasel slot but yep see that's what i get for assuming hit mon or combustion's gonna bounce up it should make it faster than the um than the flareon now with that one speed boost which means the flareon's dig is going to hit combustion not a lot i can do about that so we're just gonna ice shard the hit monly to try to knock it out Hopefully Bounce will get it there now. Nice. At least get some experience here. Sneasel goes 37. Trying to learn Night Slash, which is better than Faint Attack. Next up is Sand Slash. Bit of a threat. 
Dig comes through. It is on Combuscan slot. That does not take out the Combuscan. Interesting. All right, we are going to Aura Sphere, the Sand Slash, and we are going to, I think, probably Ice Shard it too, huh? Ah, decent damage. Aura Sphere will not take it out from that range, though. They both use Dig? I don't really have anything that wants to switch into that. Send a Nariados. And the Sneasel is just going to have to take it. Oh, never mind. They are both on Ariados. Goodbye, Ariados. <laughs> um, pretty easy switching to Gardevoir here. Uh, we second Flareon slot. We're going to go ahead and Ice Shard the Sand Slash, which should take out the Sand Slash. Flareon's going to dig again. It's probably faster than Gardevoir. Oh, Fortress. I didn't realize they had a Fort Pokemon. I missed that. Will it Wisp? That's Sneasel? Interesting. So that all but makes Sneasel worthless. Solid damage. Flareon special defense is pretty high too. That was good damage. We'll use Psychic there and we are going to just um, Night Slash the Fortress. Hope for a crit. Nope. Land Thrower on the Sneasel will take out the Sneasel for sure. Oh, it didn't. Wow. Man, Flareon special attack sucks. Bye, Flareon. Spikes? Okay. Here's the Night Slash again. Come on, crit! Wait, it has shell armor, never mind. I guess it probably has sturdy, but all the same. Zach, he didn't do a ton, but that's all right. Okay. Goodbye, cruel world. I was not expecting explosion. Which I should have, to be honest, but... I love that everything in here is just like uh, blowing up on me. Pretty cool. Not gonna lie, pretty cool. The real battles begin after me. You know, that's what the last three people said. Next up. Wow, you've come a long, long way from home. You should be proud of yourselves. But prepare for a thrashing. I never miss my targets once I get them in my sights. Hunter Tilia. Telia? Tilia? Telia? Telia? Doug Trio and Marowak. Fucking A. So many ground types. Alrighty, uh, I believe Doug Trio also has a ring trap. <laughs> Fair. Let's go Heat Wave and we will fake out Doug Trio. Heat Wave comes through. Hopefully, we get a burn. Oh, that absolutely puts it in Ice Shard range. Parish Song. Parish Song Arena Trap, huh? I bet we're about to see some protects here. 
Let's heat wave again. We are going to ice shard the Dug Trio. Dug Trio is down, which means we can switch now. Unless, nope. Okay, we're fine. Heat wave comes in. Iron avoided the attack. Barrel Axe had a decent HP. We should be fine. Swagger on Sneasel. That's a, that's a choice. Parish counts down to two. Uh, let's go ahead and Aura Sphere the Lyran, and we will Ice Shard the Marowak. And we'll break through or confusion. No, we won't. The Aura Sphere should take out the, uh, the Lyran, though. Good deal. Alrighty. Last up, Whiskash. Swagger again on Whiskash. Oh, fuck, dude. There's no way they knew that was going to happen. What a prediction. Are you serious? Wow. Here comes Earthquake. Or Thrash. Oof! Goodbye, Marowak. All right, let's go ahead and use uh, Nightshade here. And then a little Psybeam. Swagger own tempo though. So he used uh, Destiny Bomb with Arena Trap and then Swagger with own tempo. How fun. Cash going down. Good deal. Must get up to 36. Alright, you know up to 36. My target got away. We should get Blaziken here. We will get rid of Heat Wave for Blaze Kick here. The next time we meet, I really won't let you escape. All right, let's take a look at the stats. 102 attack, 98 special attack. Not bad. Not bad. Decent mix stats. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Alrighty, folks. I can't. I can't keep going. It's hurting too much. Sorry. I didn't think it was going to be this bad. Just sitting in this chair is just...